check the angle. starting to get there and how that's starting to take away the bulk of that edge. What we we'll want to do is continue to do this until we feel a bevel on either side of this edge. Once we start feeling the bevel, we'll know that we're at the apex and at the point and we'll know we can uh, go ahead and move on to the other step. bevel there. I can start to feel it on the other side. how that edge is starting to be a lot more uniform. We're starting to feel that bevel on this side, so we'll just do it a couple more times. Just to make sure that it's uniform. Starting to feel the bevel right here. Notice that we're not getting any heating or blackening of the blade because we're using that heavy grip paper. I can still touch and hold this the whole time. We're not generating heat. We're generating uh, material that's being taken off of there. So now I've got, I can feel that bevel along this entire edge. So I'm gonna take this one more time this way. since the direction of the sandpaper is headed down on this side, I want to just give it one more quick swipe on this. And let's kick that double over. Okay, so from now, we're going to move on to this 220 grit uh, right here. And we're going to put that on there. We're going to do the same thing, get this polished up from that heavy, heavy-duty grit and then we're going to move on to the hand sharpening aspect of it. And we've got our knife right here. We're going to go ahead and run this on the 220 grit paper. And we're just trying to clean up that edge just a little bit, polish it out a little bit. And polish up that heavy duty grit that we used earlier. Start to move over. 
go ahead and put this right here. We'll show you what we're looking at from my angle. And you can almost see that bird disappear as you bring it along the edge here. You can almost see it go whenever it shows up there. that edge nice and polished out. We'll go take a look at it and we'll see from there. Hi, this is Wayne here with Trey County Locksmith Service. We're going to be putting a nice edge on this Markwell Arms knife. And basically what we're going to do to start out, start out with a basic sandpaper. Uh, you know, super, super easy, super, super basic. That's just going to, this is a 320 grit. I'll just kind of form that on there, like so. Put that on there, and basically drop this on here, like so. And that's going to be ready to go. And then you'll have your other side, 320 right here. And put this on this side. And we're going to begin putting the secondary bevel on this uh, since it's been started out with the since it's already got about a 220 grit finish this is what I wanted to use right here just going with this 320 just really get this thing in some serious sub condition and the sandpaper just does an excellent excellent job super cheap super easy to find super easy to get a hold of um, And you'll actually be able to see it as you go when everything's starting to really blend together. And that's what you want. Snipping in a little bit, so let's just tighten it back down. And then we'll continue to sharpen this edge here. What I want to do to kind of get this whole thing polished out all at about the same time is I'm going to bring this thing in just a little bit. And this isn't going to have any effect on the main, on the secondary bevel. Um, what we have here, this isn't going to affect the secondary bevel uh, because as we move out, that's what you'd be working on. Uh, as we move in, that would be working on uh, this back cut. And we just, I just want to get that polished up. This is one of the nicer knives, so I want to kind of really see what we can make this thing look like. So we'll do that nice and close. Just as close as we can get with these red blocks without getting too much trouble here. Bring that up.
That's about as close as I can get without the wood interfering with the stand. Okay, so I'm going to tighten that up right there. And then we'll go ahead and continue with the 320. Kind of look down there and begin to see exactly where you're hitting and exactly where you need to work on. So that's going to be it for my 320 for right now. So now we're going to move on to the 600. I'm going to leave it in this position. We'll hit this and then we'll hit it to get that secondary bevel. our more steep angle, or I mean, I'm sorry, our, our less steep angle, this would be about a 20, 25, let me get out of here. taking some extra time on this one because I really want this one to turn out nice and super sharp, super pretty to look at. So I'm really going to spend some extra time on it. This is just going to turn out so, so nice once we get this thing all polished up. And you can kind of see what we're getting at here. You can really see how that's just starting to build that really nice edge. And I can feel just from working one way and then the other that we're getting that really nice bevel right there.
So now that we're getting ready to change, I'm going to alternate one and one and one and one and one. Just to really make sure that this edge is dead, dead center. And we have to change over to the 1200 bit. Squeeze this back in. Go ahead and get that back cut. my sand. really see the two different angles in it. You can really see how smooth those lines are coming together. Now it's just taking all of those all that heavier scarring from that heavier paper off of there. And then we're going to switch to the final polish. This is the 2000.
And you can actually feel this paper grabbing onto it, cutting into it, and really getting a hold and polishing this thing out. It just feels really, really good for, for such a cheap uh, abrasive. It really works great on all of these hard, hard steels. This carbide silicone paper uh, is really, really nice. See, there's one you can't go forwards and down and with touch of paper. Make a side note of that. I should know better. Down. We're going to move these back out to put the final polish on our main edge, our main 20 25 degree cutting edge. And just let it do its magic on that. And this thing will just turn out really, really nice. Oh yeah, that, because of that way I'm going back and forth with that and the way the paper just sits on there with that little bit of a that little bit of a bow, it actually kind of takes the whole thing down and it creates that nice convex. This is Wayne with Trey County Locksmith Service, and we're checking out how sharp we got these knives. We spent a little time sharpening, and uh, we're now going to give this the test. And this is really the way to test this right here. Um, it would be weight and string. Uh, we use the same kind of string uh, and add weight until it fails, and then we'll know the sharpness of this. So there's two ounces. Three ounces, three, four ounces. So four ounces for our Markwell arms. Right there, we can go ahead and get a nice good look at that edge. And uh, you can see what just doing that little bit of tune-up, uh, getting this edge, this uh, back cut set, and then really honing in on that main cutting edge um, just made a ton of difference. 